Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, because I've seen you shiny, shady. It's 20 what? It's a year of what? Oh. Saturn fought us last year because of assignment. Many of you didn't understand when we say it's a year of what? That's why Satan was fighting. A year so that we lose our assignment. So this year is a year where, I mean, you, you, there have to be a restoration. Tell me, but there have to be a restoration. Christ died for you so that you take what belongs to you. God bless you. Let's open scriptures. And I'm sure many people are still home. New Year. There's something that I was learning that I want to share with you. Always, I don't want to teach people what I'm not practicing. Because we must practice what we preach. Can we open Matthew 7? From verse 1 to 5. I will Matthew 7, 1 to 5. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you happy to be here? Yes. Okay. Matthew what? Seven. From one to five. Do not judge and criticize and condemn others unfailingly with an attitude of self righteous superiority as though assuming the office of a judge so that you will not be judged. For just as you judge others. When you are sinful and unrepentant, so you will be judged. And in accordance with your standard of measure, used to pass out judgment. Judgment will be measured to you. Can you see the verse there? Why do you look at the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice and acknowledge the log that is in your own eye. Or how can you say to your brother, let me get the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite, another word, play, make, play actor, pretender, first get the log out of your own eye then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I just want us to look at this. Uh, I was learning this issue of judging others. Just right, judging others. What makes us not to be complete is when we are fault finders. Judging others. You know, here you could see what the Lord was teaching. He will see that many people are concentrating on others without dealing with themselves. Do you know that many times we focus on other people than ourselves? So here the Bible says you become a pretender when you're not dealing with your own eyes first. In other words, Jesus was teaching us to judge ourselves than to judge others. 
Many times we are judging others. And we leave our own judgment to God. And we found that we are on the other side. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at these issues of judging others. You will see that Jesus was saying, judging others, number one, does not solutions. It it brings judgment on us. It is a Because how we judge others is how we will be judged. And the reason why we judge others is because two, we can't see. The reason why we judge others, we can't see. If we are able to see, we will help them. We will help them. We will be able to come and remove the speck from them. That's what Jesus was speaking, saying, you, judge judge others, you are judged because you fail to help them. If you read James 3, from verse 11 to 12, it shows that whether you are right or wrong, you are not allowed to judge. Whether you are in a position where everybody can stand with you, you are not allowed to. Can you read, Mama? Verse 11. Out of the same mouth proceed blessings and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives, or a grapevine bear figs? Thus no spring yields both salt water and fresh. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. Stop there. You know, if we read verse 11 to 12, 11 to 12, you will see that we are supposed to pronounce blessing. We cannot speak curse, we speak blessing. We are divided when we do that. I was learning that many things that are affecting Christians is when they took a seat of God. And when you judge others, whether they are wrong or right, there is no way you won't get punishment. I was reading Mark 6, 14-21. I will tell you about it. That's where John, the Baptist, he spoke a word of judgment to King Herod. And he said, you king, Herod, you are not supposed to take your brother's wife. Herod knew, even Herodias knew, that it was wrong for them to do that. But because they were in the position of influence, it was the reason why John was killed. Let me try to tell you that one of the things that makes us to find ourselves in problems is when we judge people who know. If, because they have got the reasons of why they are doing that. And they have got a reason to defend themselves. If you read here, you see why Herodias seek an opportunity to kill 
a o lebella mo ta tlholore wa herodia sa nyake le segoba sa hore a gone o bolaya Johane Mokolobetse the bible says in the book of moses it was written bible re mo bokeng ya moshe o ngwadilwe that marrying a brother's wife was wrong hore go nyala mosadi ya botiang a bokiposo and king herod knew mara go tshe herod na tseba but because of his influence he carried on ka le bakala se mo sa ya tswela pela di jwalo many times we want to show people who know the truth and she rinyo go bontsha batho ba tsebang theresho and we want to show them the truth rinyo go ba bontsha theresho is better we live than we carry on with the truth ka one ri ba tuele re se ba bontshe na na ri tswele pele ka nnete the bible says by our character bible re ka mekgwa ya rena we can make them to learn re ka dia hore ba ithute can you just read verse 13 my mother ara ba leng verse 13 you say what It says who is wise and understanding among you uh-huh. let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom that is the reason why John was killed likile ba kala hore John a bolaiwe i will tell you the difference of John and Jesus ke ta le botsa phapano ya Johane le Jesu Jesus after he heard that John was killed he knew that people will ask him questions nazi gore batho ba tata ba mmotsisha dipotsisho he took the disciples away from people a tshe ba roti ba batho sa go le le batho same time he heard ka nako ya akwao that john was key you could not stay john ne ba mmolaile a sidule the bible says he moved away bible ra tsa maela gole so that he will be having responsibility of answering them or as ka ba le maikarabela a to fetola ba botsisha he just end up keeping quiet o no felle tsa go motse i don't know if you are hearing i get tsaba le ntwa if you read matthew 14 13 to 14 ao ba la matthew 14 13 to 14 is where they heard he heard what they did to john ke ke a e kwa ka mogo ba direleng can you read verse 13 from 14 chapter 14 13 to 14 You say what? When Jesus heard he departed from there by boat to a deserted place by himself but when the multitude heard it they followed him on foot from the cities and when Jesus went out he saw a great multitude and he was moved with compassion for them and he healed their sick Listen to this judging others affect our assignment. O atola ba thoba bangwe o affect rena mishomong ya rena. When Jesus heard that John was killed. A Jesu a e go re Johane ba mmolaile. He didn't run away because he knew that the news will catch him. Ah chabela go le ne ka o natse bore ditaba tshe ditota di moswara. He use a boat. O ela berekisa le sela wate. And move away. A tsamaela go le. And the Bible says to a sacred place. Bible ya re aya tulong ye ne ba sa itsebe. Can you just read there you hear the, that verse there it says what? It says he went to a deserted place by himself. You know a deserted place here is secluded place. Ke pleke le ntuko or concealed place. O ba ke pleke e fita e tsheo or undisturbed place o ba pleke ye batho ba sa yeng ngona ka meta when people came to him ja nong ha batho ba ita mo go yena he carry on with his assignment o ila a tswela pele he le moshumo wa hai we have got no right to answer people on what they know arna tokelo ya u fetola batho ta ba inje bona ba ditsebao and we have got no right to defend anyone arna tokelo ha be di o o imela motho we can end up defending people who are doing wrong re ka felle tsa re yemella batho ba diang diphoso at the end of the day we are judging ourselves ma fello nga le tsatse re ba re te a thola this is the time that when you see that this news will reach you a o bona re dita ba tse di ta o fetella bile tsa o shishinya it's time to hide yourself ke nna kwa ya o re iphitle You know when you read Matthew 6 verse 6 Ao bala Matthew 6 6 It talks about God who sees in the secret Ke bolela ka modimo ya bonang tsa le kunotong So it's time that when we see problems like that Ke nna kwa yore ga re bona mathata ka mogwa We run to the secret Re na re tsha be re le kunotong and enjoy prayer than hearing stories Re tsine ka thapelo fitisha ditaba 
Judging others has been a problem to Christians. Many Christians that will go to hell is because of judging others. If we give example by Jonah, Jonah finalized judgment when God was sending him. The first thing he experienced was a storm. He took another road when God is sending him somewhere. Because he was justifying his own judgment. The second thing is when he is there. After he has pronounced judgment, that hey, the Lord was coming to judge you. When the people repent, himself he was still waiting for judgment. God, do what you said. Do what you killed. There were enemies. And God showed Jonah. He taught him that day a lesson. God groomed a tree. It grew up fast. When Jonah was enjoying the shadow, a worm came up and destroyed the tree. And Jonah complained. Because many people who judge others, they complain. And also, they don't get real blessings. The blessing of them is for a day. They enjoy it just a day. Those enjoyment goes away. When the sun goes down, even the enjoyment goes by. Let's be like Jesus. That when the stories are reaching us, so that we pronounce judgment, we end up keeping quiet. Let me try to tell you about Jesus before Herod. Jesus was supposed to have spoken many things to Herod. But he knew what Herod did. Herod did. What Herod did, he allowed John to be killed. When Jesus started to send disciples to do miracles, Look what Herod said. I'm sure it's John that he I killed. He resurrected this power there man working there. There was no revelation in his life. Listen to this. When the more you judge others, the more you lack revelation. You will never understand what God is doing. The more you judge others, the more you judge others, is the more you lack revelation. By the time when God wants to save you, is the time where you are going down. Look at this verse I want to read for you. Can you read Romans 2? From verse 1 to 3. Can you just read that verse? You say what? Therefore, you are inexcusable. Oh men, whoever you are who judge, for in whatever you judge another, you condemn yourself. For you who judge practice the same things. But we know that the judgment of God is according to truth against those who practice such things. Amen. Amen. Okay, look at this verse. It shows that many people who are judging others are doing the same. You know, this verse makes me to laugh. That Sometimes when people accuse you or criticize you, they are telling you what they are doing. I don't know if you are hearing me. So that's what the Bible says. Eh, don't, don't even defend yourself. But these people are coming to say you are doing the same. I don't know if you are hearing that. 
You know, I'm just trying to tell you what is happening on earth. Many people who are accusing you, they are doing what they are saying. It's better we don't even waste time to judge them. Let us stand up and let us judge them. It's better we don't even waste time to judging them you are judging yourself tell them allow them to judge you don't judge them if we read that verse it says let's look at that verse again can you just read verse 1 verse 1 therefore uh -huh. you are an inexcusable old man whoever you are who judge uh -huh. for in whatever you judge another you condemn yourself uh, For you who judge, practice the same things. You who judge, you practice the same thing. Okay, look at John 8. From verse 1 to 8. 1 to 8. Here you could see Jesus posing back the judgment to them. They came here and accused that they found this woman. At the spot, committing adultery. You know, I was. If I was Jesus, I would question them and make. Even the I was supposed to be saying, "You found the hair with who?" And how can you arrest this woman and you leave the man? And why Lesuara says si latuela ebuti? Jesus had many questions there, but he could not. Na ona le di pushi chedi ngata manda yena hadi buchi. Another question Jesus was supposed to have questioned them was, okay, okay, if you don't know the man, let's ask the lady. Jano ha mo na ona le sa mo zebe arabu cheng sisi. Sister, the person you were found is who? Moto ba utozi li ena kima. I'm telling you, you just hear that it was the high priest. It was their favorite. One of the reasons why they judge, they push this one. Because this one knows their secret. They could not arrest the one who knows their secret. They use this one who don't know anything to judge Jesus. And say, Jesus, we have found this one. What are we supposed to do to this one? Look what Jesus said. He posed the same question to them. He said, okay, if you have not done anything, wrong, if you don't have sin, be the Ali first to, si to hit with a stone. No and they look at each other. They know each other. They say, ah, if I take a stone, this one will say, what are you doing? Because there were a group of that. They tell you that those who judge you, they are the ones who are doing the same. So don't judge them, you'll be like them. If you judge them, themselves they are busy doing. So don't respond their judgment. So Leave them. They are telling you what they are doing. Tell them them. Those who judge you, they are telling you what they are doing. They are telling you can you just tell your neighbor again? So why do you respond? You are, you are given information. Tell her, but don't respond. Because you are given information. The moment I found this, I said, hey. You know, the Bible says we'll know you by your ways. Sometimes a person says, no, I'm no longer trusting you. Check that person, you will find she might be doing something. I'm suspecting I'm, I'm suspecting my husband is cheating. If you try to go around, you will find something wrong. 
You cannot talk about what you are not part of. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell your neighbor say hey. Stop judging others. Stop judging others. You are showing yourself. In Galatians 6 verse 1. It says if a person is overtaken by sin. You are spiritual. Restore that one. In a gently way. But be careful that you won't be tempted. You know tempted there is. Be careful that you won't judge. Can you just read verse 1 mama? Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself lest you also be tempted. You know, this is something that we need to apply so that we must not judge others. It's one of them. Just write it down. Be spiritual. Be spiritual. If you're spiritual, you will always apply scriptures. You will forget your emotions, your feelings, and apply scriptures. Be spiritual. You are spiritual. When you're spiritual, you can restore someone. But if you're not spiritual, you can fall on the same track. Some of you, you heard some people have fallen down. When they come to you and tell you, you know, what they did to, I mean, what they've expressed from others. You begin to take sides. Taking side is judging. I don't know if you're hearing me. Be spiritual. Make sure that you are quoting scriptures. To restore that one. Don't be in a place where you stand with someone. Tell me, but don't stand with someone. Be spiritual. You tell your neighbor again. Be what? Be spiritual. If you are spiritual, you are scriptural. You, are, you will apply the verse. Because the word of God is in you. So you will show the right character. Hey, we don't do something like that. We are Christian. If somebody says, hey, you know what Makaranisa did this to me. Makaranisa did this to me. Be spiritual. So that you'll be able to restore the one you are hearing. If you you what you are hearing, you will supply the person. Be spiritual. And you don't know, you might be standing with the person who's doing wrong. And I would say, but I would say, but I would say, but I would say, not long I found that in our churches people, people that we normally support are those who have good money. In our churches we do like that. When someone is having money we support. If the person say in the church people must, the ushers must wear gloves for hygiene. The ushers must wear gloves for hygiene. If in the, the ushers must wear gloves, it's hygienic. Because these people have got money, they will buy gloves. Already when our ushering, we are ushering, we are judging. This one. But I tell you, oh, 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 na li diabetes. Oh, na li diabetes. Because, because you are you are you are you are judgmental. When you look at the people outside, already you have concluded. I don't know if you are hearing that. Tell them say, hey, don't judge others. By doing that, you are judging yourself. 
Look at Matthew 5 verse 44. Arle bele Matthew 5:44. I told you that number 1 you have to be spiritual. Number 2. Arle abatu basumoya. Is this verse 44 is very very strong verse. Read that is a very strong verse that one. Is what? Ke verse tile ngudukulu. Matthew is say what? Matthew 5:44. Yes. Ere. But I say to you, uh-huh. love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. You heard that verse? That verse it say you don't have enemies. Verse e bolela lor a bona le naba. So whom are you judging? Jana wena wa thola ma. If you don't have enemies, whom are you judging? A was na le naba wa thola ma. He says pray for those who persecute you. Rapella ba is oppressing you where you are working. Motho wa wa tlela mo wena o bereka. Ba be say pray for that person. Bible re mo rapelele. Love your enemies. Ratale na bala hao. Read it again mama. That verse. But I is. say to you. I say to you. Love your enemies. Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. Remember I told you that we are born to bless not to curse rebelegilwe go shofata ya ing wa thola we christians we are born to to bless rebelegilwe go rete re shofatse not to curse e se go ruaka do good to those who what who hate you who hate you think about it nana ka yona this is the verse that many christians today ke verse e ba pulso ba ntshi le gono we are contrary on it re fapana le yona sometimes We love to send cases. Na ko cheting a tar rata u rue u rumela maruga. There's something that you know I hear many people say say suffer not which is to live. A o na le ntwe ba thwa ntshi ba ibolela ba ro se ka ba wa tuela ba loi ba phile. No the question is how do you know the person is a witch? Ja no motho o mo tsebile jwang gore ke e wa loya. How do you know? O tseba jwang. This person is a witch. O re motho we are loya. Because at the end of the day you can find that you are just judging people in the wrong. Tell somebody says, love everyone. Love everyone. If you want to you want to stop judging, love Now everyone. If you want to you want to stop judging, love everyone. Just love. Just love. You will make it. I mean sometimes we look at the people already we hate them by their appearance and she ba thorono ba lebelela ba thoya ka o bonagana christians who hate people ba pulso ba thoya ng batho also having hate speech ba na le malimi a o thoya we are christians we need to show the character of christianity o re le ba pulso re tsentsho bontsha mekgwa ya bo pulso if you can see this verse if we do that loving, loving everyone we want to have people that won't pray for Listen, praying for you doesn't mean that you are my favorite i don't know if you hear me if i say let's pray for this person that doesn't mean that the person is right can you tell me pray for everyone doesn't mean that everyone is right pray for you doesn't mean you are right because the issue here people are afraid to judge you by prayer they will commend you to god they will give you to god to judge you more. Stop judging. Look at Romans 12 verse 20. It goes like they say. It says what? But if your enemy is hungry, my God, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. Buy pizza. pizza. Buy grocery to your enemy. Listen stop judging. Tuela wa thula. Feed your enemy. E fale na badijo. Listen to this. If you want to see that you can be better than your enemy. Ha o nyoko bona ro ka bo mo ka ono fita le na bala hao. It's not when you judge your enemy. A se ha wena o khono wa thula le na ba ne. Feed him. Nko le fepe. Can you see that verse feed him? E re fepa le na ba. And when he's thirsty, ha le nyori lwe. Give him cold drink. Mo fe cha onwa. And juice. 
religious. And he said what? By doing this, you are heaping coals on his head. That's how you fight your enemy. You do good to your enemy. You pray for the persecutors. Not judging. Not when we are Christians, we cannot insult. Many of you, are, you have been saved from things. Isn't it? Used to be angry, you begin to fight. But after you are saved, don't, don't ever think Satan will leave you. Satan will condemn you by bringing the same people you used to meet to provoke you. So that you do what you used to do. Pray for them. Because they are persecuting you. They are hating you. There's something that Jesus spoke. He said, you will be hated by all over the world. So Christianity of being loved is not there. What they did to our master, they they do that to But don't judge. Tell them, don't judge. If you want to stop judging, make sure that you love your enemies. If you love them, you will pray for them. You will just pray for them. And by pray for them, you will really overcome them. I don't know if you hear me. Let me show you another scripture. Of how can you stop judging? In Hebrews 4, verse 4. We need the scriptures. The word of God judges our the intentions of our hearts. And our thoughts. If we want to stop judging, we need the word of God. The word of God judges our thoughts and the intention of our hearts. If you look at our Christian life, we are judging everywhere. Even our prayers are based on judging others. Do you know Jesus even gave a, a parable like that? He said, he said there was a Pharisee and a tax collector. And they were going to pray. This other one stood there and said, I'm not like this. I'm not like that one. You know, most of the time, I'm seeing people doing it now. They don't say it. They just come with a very strange tongue. Because they are not like other ones. Even when they treat themselves in the church, they are, they are showing that they, are not, they know God so much. Not long I found that God is no longer God, is God. 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 Because we know God so much. God. 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 We speak about him. We are not like those other ones. Even when we speak in tongues, we, our tongues are not like of other ones. We, we are so special than others. And this, and this makes us to be out of God's way. And you know, Jesus asked a question that day. He said, so now, when they go home who was better who found favor because it's not what you are doing here that matters it's after you have done the one who judges you know you, we are doing this what we are doing here it's not over here it's after we are done what is so if we bring 
many activities that prove like we are better than yeah, others. We are judging them. Not long I told people in the church and I said I don't want anybody who is a millionaire to give a testimony because I don't want some people to feel small because you know in, we found that in the church others are better than others I was someone in the church this one is having PhD he's sitting close to the one who's having standard 3 that's where God will work but even Jesus said, ah, if now people, we judge people by their attire. We judge people by their appearance. We live like we are in a flesh. This is the time that we must know that judging others affects our hearing from God. Because God does not see the way we see. He does not do things the way we do. If we want God to work, let's accommodate everyone. Let's accept everyone. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. If, if truly is like that, I will come here and look who's wearing a suit. And prophesy business. And go to the one who's wearing a suit with a tie. Raya wa appearing suit with a paralysis. And go want to use you as a prophet. Little tie karu oye na na mudi mnyo kumu dia mu prophet. Because the judgment of our minds. Kau ba no hatula mi hope lo yarena. Are focusing on flesh. Ulebeti kudu kudu di lo chana ama. But the judgment from the spirit. Mara wa hatula simo ya. Incline us to hear from him. Odira rukuno mukwa ufitisha. Taso. God wants you to hear from you. Stop him. judging others. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you going to stop judging others? Can you ask your neighbor? Are you going to stop judging others? And your neighbor say what? Can you just ask your neighbor again? Can you ask your neighbor? Remember those who judge others are blind. Can I give you an example? Let me show you with the example. I want to show you with the example. Let me get uh, Isaiah 61. one brother standing here. I want to show you by any brother come. Come brother. How many of you are seeing this brother? Stay, face them. Are you seeing this brother? Are you, see, are you seeing him? If you are seeing him, lift up your hand. Alright. If all of you are seeing him, stand up. You are seeing him. Huh? Brother. Can you wave your hand like this? What is it that the brother is doing? Huh? Waving his hand. So that's what you are seeing. Okay. You are, you are still seeing the brother. Ask your neighbor. Huh? What is he doing? Oh, right. Okay, sit down. Brother, go and sit now. Okay, listen to this. Okay. Are you still seeing the brother? Huh? But he's still here. Are you seeing the brother? Who sees the brother? Lift up Are you not seeing him waving his hand? Here? You can't see him. Okay, this shows that you are carnal. Because 
If this brother can be taken away from here, you can see him again. This shows that you always see in the flesh. If this brother, come brother, if this brother is here, and he's waving his hand. But All of you will say, We are seeing him. We are seeing him. He's waving his hand. If he goes away, and he say, Are you still seeing him? He he say, no, because you are using him. He are using You supposed to be seeing him. Even when your eyes cannot see him. I don't know if you hear me. Can you see you people you are judging by what you are seeing in the flesh? People who see will tell him that will tell me that yeah I'm still seeing the brother. I'm seeing him, I'm seeing where he stays. I'm seeing what he ate today. I'm still seeing him there, but I'm seeing his problem. You can see him when he moved there. You when can see him. That is why everything that is moved that affects is why and take your attention. Do you know that you people here, if you want to see that you don't see, if you bury a person here, before you bury, you are talking about that person. After two months, you have removed that person, it's over your career. I don't know if you're hearing me. It shows that your sin in your mind. Once your mind is occupied with even the reflections of what you're seeing is coming from your mind. That's why your perspectives are affected. Many times, you know, whatever is taking a, a space, it really affects us. It makes us to talk. A person can just appear from there. Come here. A person can just appear from there. And you say, she's beautiful. But those who see will say, she's sick. And she's about to die. You are just judging, looking outside. I don't know if you are hearing me. Stop judging others. Look here. If you want to know what is going on in the flesh, you have to see whatever that has been created. Be close to the one who created it. If you don't know this person, don't talk about that person. If you don't know this person, don't talk about that person. Tessa, stop judging others. Say, I don't know you. I don't know you. Tell I don't know you. You know, uh, sometimes we love to say that when we are angry, you don't I know I will show you. <laughs> it's only when we are angry that another person that, you know, the person was thinking and he knows you. But the day, that is the day you will reveal. I'm sure you understand that. If you want to judge people, make them angry. Now you will know them. It's then you can talk and say, this person, if he's angry, can bite everything. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Stop judging others. Let's read this scripture, maybe we, we close. If we read, maybe 2 Corinthians, 5.10 5.10 Don't forget that verse Because if you don't judge just read that verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Can we hear that That verse? each one uh -huh. may receive the things done in the body uh -huh. 
according to what he has done whether good or bad just read it again that verse for all for we must all appear before uh -huh. the judgment seat of Christ that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done whether good or bad whether good or bad we will appear you know that verse we will appear whether good or bad what we have done when we are in the flesh this is the verse that most of the time you know, even when I've got opportunity to fight back, I will withdraw. Because I've learned that we are not here forever. Tell, tell you, you are not here forever. If you learn that, you realize that okay, there are that you need just to leave it to God. Okay, for example, let's take you, let's take you respond and try to prove that you are like that. There's a day you have to stand before the judgment seat of God. You know, Many times people are not even seeing this. Many of you, you have not reached 50. But can you just imagine to be in hell million years? Can you just imagine something like that? I mean, most of the time, we, we found that we are just trying to, I mean, protect ourselves defending ourselves try to find a way where we, there's no way for ourselves we are becoming so much conceited self-centered if you look at that verse you realize that what God wants from us is to understand that judgment that we post to others. We we to others. Does not do any good for us. Nothing. There's nothing you gain. I can still say you are stupid. You are you are watchful. Watchful. And you find that still this person, another one will tell me the same. Whatever we do to others, they will do to us. Whatever we want people to do for us, we will do to them. It's judgment of judging others. Jesus spoke about it. If you want people to if you want to hurt people, you are telling people to hurt you. It's a judgment. Whatever you do on others, you will face it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As your neighbor said, can you see judging others is useless? Look at that verse again. Just read that verse again. This verse is for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Whether you eat this or not, whether you will appear before the judgment and explain. This is already a scripture. That can make us to be so channeled. In the of God. Last time I told you that we must know that whatever we do, it have got intentions. Now we fit in the so to work out for the Nyakodia. Dina Lemaba Kaudia. And God does not look at the action, look at the intention of that action. So, before we do something, we must check ourselves why we are we doing before that. Why we doing that? Because one day we will explain why we did that. Or why no didira. Oh, I wanted to be famous. So I now. Well, after you get fame, 
Okay, I wanted to show that I'm intelligent. After you did that, I mean, if you can hear, I, I just love uh, uh, Bengo. Bengo. Okay, Rata. Pastor Bengo. Moroti Bengo. Who said that whatever I have done for God? Kau fela chen nakidi di ching mudim. Still, I have to be buried like a dog. Lie uli jelo kito ulu koshwa na limja. And my body must be taken to the grave. I mean, these are the things that we are fighting for. Oppressing others. Working on top of others. Trying to prove our stand. Trying to come out on a way. That's why Solomon says, vanity upon vanity. I'm sure you're hearing that. Okay, let me give you the last scripture we Can we just read Romans 12? From 16. From 16. From 16. Maybe from Verse 16, 16 to 18, yes. Of 18. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. You heard that verse? They will ever say. Just read the, the last one. If it is possible, uh. as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Is it happening to you? Or you don't greet your neighbor. Oh, I would Do you know that some neighbors they start it on you? If you can see the way we are competing, fighting, you will see that we can live peaceably. If now you succeed. I question you why you succeeded. If now I'm failing, I still question you why I'm failing. You might be the one who's stealing from me. Let's take, you've got children who are failing at school. You start to look around. Than to look at them. Always you want to blame someone on your weakness. If you are weak somewhere, you want to prove you are strong. You have you ever found that now your children are failing you? You begin to look around. If you see the person is looking at you like, Maybe he's looking at you because he heard people were talking about you yesterday. He's and he doesn't want to tell you. Now you look at where you are weak. This might be a person who's witching. No, the person is having solution. He heard that people are trying to do this. Some people you don't need but the one who are holding solutions of your problem. Sometimes I look at my intention. I just look at my intention and I judge myself before I approach you. So that you won't judge me. And I won't judge you. Because because by my wrong intention I might be judging you in if I'm trying to show that, okay, I have money better than you, already I'm judging. Because no one knows your tomorrow. Tomorrow, can, you can still be better than me. Tell me, but don't judge others by your things. Accept yourself. 
God bless you.